so upon our arrival in the village, uh, there was no shortage of um, domestic wildlife. Lots of baby chicks running around like crazy. Uh, and the mother hens. Roosters crowing all the time. You could also hear pigs squealing. I even had this uh, cow walk up to me in the street as I was wandering around by myself. Just uh, setting up our navigation and there's a herd of... Uh... Ni hao. Another nice aspect was the, uh, the village people. These guys were chopping up an old banana tree to feed to pigs. Um, the young banana tree are really good for people, actually. And these guys were actually uh, working together to make a basket. This guy was processing the bamboo into strapping. Um, it looks really dangerous. It looks like he could have easily cut his uh, hand off if he didn't know what he was doing. And his friend was weaving it into a basket. So these are, we saw these used for um, tea processing a lot. But they're probably used for all kinds of things. Um, and family life was pretty awesome. The uh, kitchen consists of a cook fire built into the floor in the main room. And uh, in our case, the youngest son, uh, Wen Sing's younger brother, uh, youngest brother, uh, he cooked the entire supper. Uh, for us that night. And he did a great job, I have to say. And once supper was done, we headed down. So mm -hmm. any part of village life definitely includes tea processing. So right under the house is the uh, the panning room. And there is a uh, wincing panning some uh, the, the day's harvest because it was very sunny that day. So we had plenty of work to do. Uh, probably about two hours of panning, four batches like this. And that is village life in Jungla.